you might be wondering where have the last two all hell can't stop us podcasts gone after all one was certainly on this channel a week ago and the other was briefly on the channel for those of you who were there for like the you know a couple seconds that it was up and then uh you'd expect that it would be on the channel by now given that the recording on facebook was made on sunday and it is now currently wednesday so where is it where are those two videos you might ask well it turns out uh i have been snagged by the content id bot that youtube uses to enforce copyright uh i guess adherence on youtube and the two particular clips uh, that I was caught with uh, do differ a little bit in details. Uh, one of them uh, was Triad's Peace on Earth, which there's so many levels of why it should not have been flagged, uh, or my account shouldn't have been flagged for it. Uh, I, I didn't get a strike on my account, so I'm not in danger of my YouTube account being uh, taken away from me for posting a, this Creative Commons song about world peace or at least uh increasing peace uh on earth uh and so this this copyright is getting in the way of promoting this song on my podcast uh and what had basically happened is because i included this song in this podcast uh my video was not eligible for creative commons in and of itself which is ridiculous because the, the license of the song was Creative Commons. The album the song came on was Creative Commons. Uh, and I'm using that as a part of a larger Creative Commons work, but YouTube incorrectly flagged it and is prohibiting me from using or from making a Creative Commons work based on it. And so it rather than give you a work that is not Creative Commons, I'm not giving you this work at all. This, when I produce something for you, the world, the, the people who are watching this, I'm doing it so that you can take it, share it, build with it, uh, mix it up, do whatever you can, uh, as long as you abide by the, you know, the, the creative commons, which is a pretty liberal, uh, permissive license. Um, and so when I am prevented from doing that, I feel that this is harming you, my audience. And I'm not going to be party to that. I'm going to wait until I can have the full podcast available uh, on a uh, medium that doesn't have such a restriction. And I'm looking for such a media now. If you have any ideas, uh, definitely leave a comment on this video. I know DTube is on the short list, as is Vimeo, uh, as well as just setting up a server of my own. Uh, the other uh, video, uh, there was a clip from a Jello Biafra talk on that. Uh, which was, fly, again, flagged for copyright. Um, this is a little harder because, strictly speaking, uh, the, it is probably under copyright and not under a Creative Commons license because it's too old. It's so old that this predates the Creative Commons. And Jello was encouraging his viewers, his listeners at the time, to go out and, you know, use media and make media and, and challenge the establishment, television, and advertisers out there. And he would be the first to say that he and his voice should be echoing from the, the major media outlets, that his skepticism of the status quo circa 1990 or 1998 or whatever, uh, that was what was needed in the world, was his words rebroadcast, was his ideas retransmitted uh, and the internet allowed us back then to do it, just as it allows us now to do it. And sure, there's you know more that can be said. He's one guy with one particular perspective. It is valuable to not just parrot his words and to come up with our own original, unique thoughts and think for ourselves. And we are all individuals, right? You know, but he really, you know, more more than most people, I'd say, really understood that you as an individual should be the media that you as an individual who you who are listening to this right now you have the responsibility if the media is not presenting your ideas your perspectives your uh view of the world then you can challenge them by 
becoming the media, by creating, by taking from what's around you and putting it together in a way that's creative and uh, unique to you, something new for the world. And there's a long history of this. The zine movement and the punk movement, uh, you know, people would photocopy things and then, you know, edit and physically using scissors and glue or whatever else, uh, make newsletters that would then be photocopied uh, and then physically mailed or handed out or whatever. Um, did they clear every single one of their samples? Did they clear every single one of their, you know, clip art? No, of course they didn't. Uh, and so is it strictly according to the law necessary for me to have gotten his permission for using that clip? Probably. Is it within the spirit of the law? Is it within the spirit of what he was saying to take his words, to give it a broader audience in the context of encouraging people to think for themselves and to grab hold of the media in their lives? I think that was permissible. Now, am I willing to bet my YouTube channel on that? Sure. Is my video going to come up? Probably not. In any case, if I keep running into these content ID problems, you can bet I will leave YouTube as a channel, as a platform. But perhaps there is still hope yet. I haven't had my account removed. But just in case you're curious, this is why. This is where those two videos went. It's, it's, it 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 it. I, I know that this content ID issue has been around for a while, and I know people get snagged all the time, every day. And my account didn't get deleted or flagged or anything. I mean, I, I can't claim to be harmed by my videos being demonetized because I don't monetize them to begin with. Um, but it did get under my skin a little bit, I will admit, because I do go out of my way to make sure that the videos that I present to you that you can share, that you can modify. And so uh, for those out here, there who are just curious what's going on, that's, that's what's going on. So I'll see you in the next video, but I just wanted to give you listeners and watchers an update of what's going on.